And we've got the Dolphins, towering tight end, who's third in the league in catches this season and ready for more this week. It's the Dolphins and the Jaguars under the lights all waited long on enough Monday to get night. It's time for some football as we welcome you to the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage maybe six points too the veneer of a new season is gone yes we used veneer in a football game we're in the middle of the schedule now it's away here in week seven and this drive will start inside the 25. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out someone this defense is really going to have to keep an eye on this mobile QB. And all those touchdowns he had last week, Kate, he traded every one of them in exchange for a victory. It's team over individual for him. So even though he himself is coming off the exact type of showing you want, that kind of efficiency usually wins you games. He's not happy about it. And he will be focusing on rectifying those things here into traffic complete and he's tackled after gaining a handful you know i often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness and when you throw in a double coverage well it can go either way that time a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end the game here on second and this one does not go far only a yard on the pickup so that's going to bring them to third down and three for a throw here. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Here's a throw. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home. That's that. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Five yards makes the hole a little smaller. It's going to be 30 14 coming up. Pass play coming here. Setting up the running back screen. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, the good part is he did bring that play to a stop. Unfortunately, looks like he got banged up on the tackle. He's in some discomfort out there. They go to punt on fourth down, and out heads Tommy Townsend. And this will put an end to the drive after it's stalled out. He punted a couple of times last week in their loss and now gets this one away. So here come the Dolphins as they get set for their debut series. And bringing them out now, a quarterback who really knows how to make something exciting happen. Hey, it wasn't a banner game you had last week, stuff in the stat sheet, but still one that falls squarely into the good territory. Had a couple touchdowns to make up for the one interception. And his effort was enough to be one of the pillars in their win. And certainly some momentum to build on today. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First and 10 now from the 30. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And this
this one doesn't go far. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. That's complete inside the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins don't need long to take a 6-0 lead. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Jaguars and their running back about to get back to work. And he's continuing a great start to the season. You can see, currently pacing the NFL in rushing yards. Drive starts out with a first and ten. The give now out of the shotgun. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. Dropping back to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. He's dropping back to throw. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Tommy so it'll be Tommy Townsend once again to punt this away. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Got 46 on his first punt, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and 10. Cox on the left side. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. Second down now, seven to go. Here's the handoff. And he takes it across midfield and into Jaguars territory. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. Pass play now. Open receiver, caught. And he'll go down here at the 16. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play, as well as a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Working inside the red zone. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. 7 nothing is our score. Back to Everbank Stadium in just a bit. We're 
coming back for the second quarter. Dolphins in a real good spot to score. Takes the handoff, now the throw. And he will score! Touchdown Miami! The Dolphins take a 13-point lead. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. His return starts at the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Jaguars back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And you can see he's done his part on offense this season, sitting second right now in the league in rushing touchdowns. They're going to throw here to begin the drive. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Second and six coming up here. A game of four. It's now second and six. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense too. Mission accomplished. The Dolphins with an extra DB out there. Third down coming. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And the defense comes through. That's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. Well into this first half, still struggling to find any rhythm, and that's what sacks do. That is why these defenders get paid big money when they get those sacks in the stack column, because as you're seeing today, it totally disrupts the rhythm, the continuity, and any success for an offense. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 65 yards on the punt there. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and 10. Throwing it to start this drive. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field. That's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage waiting for it. They were thinking interception for a second. And the completion is still pretty good, too. Left side, gets it out quick, and it's caught. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Now, after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They are throwing it again. He's got it over the middle. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. All right, I'll set up now. First and 10. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Did this defense ever need that or what? Just a step in some kind of right direction. Hopefully now they can build on that sack and claw their way back from this pretty slow start. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Blown 
back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. And it's a nickel set for the Jags on this third down. They go play action here. That's caught for the first. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always got to start your read from the secondary forward. You got to see what the safeties are doing. If you're going to throw a ball in the middle third deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were. And the QB just nailed it. First down from the red zone. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins stretch their lead to a three-score advantage. Tyree killed the touchdown. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah. because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. He's going to field this at the two. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Jacksonville heading out there on offense. And things are really getting away from him, so an important moment here to try and get a sustained possession going. They're out and set, first and ten. Field and they give it to him. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Second and 13. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Yeah, let's give some credit to the defense here, Kate. Right, We talk about explosive plays. Every offense is looking for them. But when a defense can go back-to-back, -back, Jack, with a tackle for loss and a sack, well, they're more than doing their job. And the Dolphins in a nickel set for this third down. He'll throw it. And he's brought down beyond the marker. So a first down for them as we've hit the two-minute warning. Score on these guys. Back to throw. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. And the Dolphins take over as he records his 10th career INT. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed, and someone was there to make a play on now, it. Now, what you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. The Dolphins and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. Got a man open. Complete. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They'll get 18 yards there. And it'll be first down Miami. They'll try and throw it here. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he drives this forward to the six. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. This offense in position now. It's first and goal.
from the red zone now. The screen is set up for the running back. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins boat racing them to the halftime locker room. Well, Brock, I think you and I both saw that one coming together from up here, and it became clear pretty quickly that if they got things going, that one could go the distance. Yeah, the six points earned on any screen pass touchdown, I'd give half a point to the sell job of a quarterback, half a point to the effort of the running back, but five of those points to the big guys in front of them. They're the most important ones out there on that play, and in the best of times, they clear lane for a touchdown just like that one. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Jaguars headed out on offense late in this first half. And we'll see if they try to establish some positive momentum before halftime here, Brock, or if they just choose to head off and lick their wounds. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to throw now. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Let's see what they went with on third down. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. Tommy Townsend on the punt. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. The work begins at the 31. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a 64-yard punt officially. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and 10. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Fires over the middle. Caught. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three now. Back to throw it. Throw left side, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That brings us to the break. The visiting Dolphins holding an early advantage. Now we'll send you down I-95 a couple hours to Orlando, depending on traffic. And we're going to check in with Donovan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. As mentioned, this is the EA Sports Halftime Report. Time to take a look around the NFL and find out what's going on this fine Sunday. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting L.A. Chargers. Justin Herbert, a very good performance as his guys run their record now to 5-2. and two. Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Anthony Richardson, four touchdown passes in the victory. Thanks so much for the look around the league, coach. But now it's time to turn our attention back to this one as we begin the third quarter. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Dolphins ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And his start to the season has been special, hasn't it? The way he's played, it's no surprise at all that he's leading the NFL in passing. Slot receiver headed left. Play action on first down. On him quick, and they 
bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Flat out a tremendous call. Perfect timing to blitz the corner, and the result proves it. There was barely time for the QB to set himself up to throw, let alone look downfield for a target before he was absolutely decked by somebody who I think enjoyed that chance to rush the passer. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. He's going to throw this one. This one's hauled in on the left side. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. How about that play, Brock? On third and 14, they find a way to convert. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Now looking to throw. Rifles it, and it's caught. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. It is caught left side. And they take him down right along the 30. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and 10 now from the 30. Lone back gets the handoff. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. They'll throw it. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Offense to the line for second down. He'll throw it yet again. Quick hitter complete. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Throwing now, off play action. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch was almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. Gives him a chance to do a little jawing after the play. Let that other guy know. He just roughed him up and lost a big catch. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And a fairly insurmountable lead grows by three more. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Got first down from the 31. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? They love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle it prevented something that's gonna be a lot bigger. That back remains hungry. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Takes the handoff, now to throw. That's complete, here's Kirk. 
And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll run here on first down. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Looking to the air here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And that will not be enough for a first down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. There's a give up the middle. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratour index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. We got just enough to move the chain. The ball's out, the ball's out, he lost it. And the fumble recovery is made. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's the Jags football, but here in the fourth, that lead likely too much to overcome. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Oh, tried forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Jamin Ramsey comes up with it. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've got him for picks in this game, and he's got to be careful. But right? you've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense, and this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. The Dolphins headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And our team in the truck putting these highlights together. Well, they certainly had plenty of touchdowns to choose from for them, actually. Though the way he's been playing, Brock, you cannot count on him being done reaching that end zone just yet. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one goes for 25 yards. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Big play to begin the drive. That's up to the 37. Back to the well again. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run, but I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice, once to find the lane upfield, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. Another carry for him. He's across the 20, still going. And he has this all the way down to the 14-yard line. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins grow their lead off the turnover. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The 
Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Jaguars are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. He's got the hook up to Ingram. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. Couldn't find Brian Thomas Jr. on that throw. And it'll be third and five coming up. Back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's a Jaguar first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. That's good for the Jaguars. Still sticking with the passing game. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. This is one of those situations where QB strength and ability to run can be a great blessing, but can also be a curse. We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the set. Hits his man on the out route. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Gotta figure out this third down here. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. Uh, finally, some justice for the quarterbacks. They're so rarely protected in today's game, Brock. The refs saw roughing the passer, and his side gets a first down plus some yardage. You take it down in the hunch, all right? You, <laughs> you haven't been hit by the guys in this league. <laughs> and you got to protect these poor, fragile quarterbacks. In this case, move the sticks as well. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the 30 on second down. This is hauled in by Ingram. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Throwing it again here. Throw reeled in by Thomas. And it won't matter in the end, but nevertheless, he's in for the late touchdown. The Jaguars put at least a tiny dent into that lead. So he finds his man in space, and then the wideout takes advantage. Nice finish there to take it in for six. Yeah, no question about it. We know points are always a premium in this league, and this really becomes a three to four point play. Right, when you don't have to settle for field goals, you could throw it underneath and your receivers do that much damage in the open field and score a touchdown, that's big time. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. On first down, they'll run. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. 
got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. They motion the tight end over. It's the two-minute warning from Miami. Dolphins getting closer to a 7-0 start. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Back-to-back -back carries here. Across the 45 and still going. And he gets it forward to the 46-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And it'll be first down Miami. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. They give it to him again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. And he's held up short of midfield after a small game. Jaguars with an extra defensive back out there, third down. So it's a win for the visiting Dolphins. And as we play in October, they have kept their perfect start to the season going. To the point, Brock, I think you could argue they might be the league's best team in the front half of this campaign. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.